All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Valhelsia 3. It's your buddy here, Super Turtle Guys. Today, we have got some fun stuff planned. We're going to be working on the uh, concrete production. Uh, because if you haven't noticed, we use a lot of concrete in this build, uh, especially down here. There's a lot of concrete, so we're going to go ahead and just build up our own. Um, now, this thing has upgraded. I've let it charge for a while. We're up to the legendary tier, um, so we can go all the way up to 11 by 11, which is really, really neat. But, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead. Yes, so this is the perfect amount. Oh, yep, right, we can't use this while it's being charged up. It kind of freaks out. Um, so let's see here. Let us disable this guy. Perfect. All right, now we can go ahead and do this. Yes. All right, guys, so something we desperately need to go ahead and make is the uh, gluttony charm here. This will allow us to, like, instantly eat food. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get one of these made up here. Let's see. Bam. Okay. So when we do get hungry, this will allow us to just devour whatever. Hmm. I guess you can't put it on, which is kind of lame. I guess it just goes into our inventory. So then uh, when, we eat our, when we need to eat our items, it just instantly gets devoured. It's really awesome. All right, guys, so we, I went ahead and completed one here, the one for black dye, because it's probably the most important one we have. And this is what we got. We had to switch out uh, the flowers for actually beetroots, because there is a recipe that beetroot uses to make red dye. If we go use this here, bam. So that's what we're using. Uh, so what happens is it starts here with our two um, garden cloches. The, the, let's see, the cactus comes out of here, goes into this little furnace guy thingamabobber i think it's an infusion factory yeah or sorry an enrichment factory it goes into there and then that goes in for the green dye now the blue dye is back here there is a pipe on the back right here that pulls it up puts it into the dye situation uh this one is being that is uh there's a so the reason the blue dye is being put into here is we have a crafting upgrade here now we have three different crafters that have the, the lapis to blue dye uh, crafting recipe in there. And so what this card does is it requests those to go ahead and craft. If we go ahead and look up here into our blue dye, you can see that it's pulsing, one, 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 and it's being automatically pushed into our, um, our bin over here. So that's what we got going on there. And then we also have another one for beetroot here for the red dye. Uh, this one said, where did it go? Oh, that's supposed to export it. Yeah, so we have a few ones that turn the beetroot into the red dye. And so what happens here is we are pulling the beetroots out from this system, putting them into here. And then after that, after they get put into here, they get uh, put over craft in there because these are external uh, storage devices here. And then they're good to go. So we might actually have to find a way to get rid of these beetroot seeds because it is going to back it up but we'll have to do that in like another area and so those get pushed into there into this guy from up top as you can see here's where the cables come through and they come into the top here this guy gets power from the back and then this makes the die now we're going to put some speed upgrades in here don't worry it'll be much faster but we also need our cactus to go ahead and catch up so we might end up putting a bunch of cactus down at the end of the line there just to help speed that along maybe um, but as of right now, this is 100% automatic, and it'll keep crafting as long as it has power. So, very cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one here, which I think is just going to be a dark gray dye. And we're going to move down the line here, and then come all the way back. So, we're actually having to push this back a block, uh, just because to give it a little bit more depth. I didn't want this flush, so I had to push it back. And this is what we got. I'm a really big fan of how this looks. We're using the mana glass here to light up everything in there. And then we're using the inset lights down here to light up the ground. It's looking looking like a dream, and the bats are everywhere because it's not proper lit up all the way down. If we hit F7, yeah, it's spooky. Very spooky. All right, guys, one more thing. I decided to make this into a dye area where we're just making the dyes because... 
Um, we use the dyes for a, mo a lot more things than we do for concrete, and I don't want to have uh, all of the dyes being just used for concrete. I originally thought maybe having like a lever somewhere, like maybe here to switch it on and off would be a good idea. So maybe we could switch it to a, a dye or a, like a concrete producer. But I figured that we could just uh, do that manually with a few different setups. So, or we could even have it, so there's next. There, there will obviously be an external storage on the bottom, that down here will be the the one where we go ahead and select which die we want to go ahead and use, which is probably something like if we would need to craft up a bunch of like light gray die that we'll just switch over and then that will be, um, that, that'll be what will be down here at the end instead of something else. And then if we do need to have more cacti uh, produced, we might just like have to put it down here and kind of pipe it in. Because uh, I believe we might be able to do that. We're, this is obviously going to move. We're going to be running power up through the back here. Um, so yeah, there is that. So let's go ahead and get this other one built. I'm going to build this one with you guys on camera. So please bear with me. All right. So we're first going to go ahead and start off with the cloches. We're going to go ahead and get these guys placed in the right spot. So they're just three up from the ground here. Don't worry. The dirt will be replaced very soon. Uh, it's very important where you place these. You need to place them... Um, with the output facing backward, the whole switching with the wrenches and stuff like that I found is extremely buggy. Uh, so don't do that. Just just go ahead and place them the, the right way you want it to be. Um, so then we're going to go ahead here. And we actually need to grab the enriching factory here. And this one is going to be up at the top. I do have my copy right here. So that will help a bunch. So there we go. And then how much did this go back? This just went straight up and in. Perfect. All right, so we take our logical transportationer, and we're going to be pulling out the back. Now, this won't pull out automatically. You have to set it to pull. Otherwise, you'll just be kind of stuck there. And we're going to go ahead and grab the die mixer. We need one. Oh, we already have one. Perfect. And so this will be parallel with these guys. Booyah. And then we're going to take our transportator cable again. Now, this one you can just leave like this. Uh, so the way this works is we're going to be doing sorting. It's going to be receiving items from the back and exporting them down below. It doesn't really need anything else. Eject on. So this thing is now set up. We don't need to worry about it. Uh, all this thing needs is water and power. Now, we're also going to go ahead and kind of punch this wall just a little bit more. Just so we can get a little bit more breathing room. All righty. So back here, we're going to start working on the water. So we're going to need the mechanical pipes. I believe I put the mechanical pipes in here. Yep, I already got them. Cool. So we are grabbing a sink from here. All right. And so these are going to come two back to give us a little, give us a little bit of room for the the die mixer, so we can have some more stuff in there. Then this is going to go here. We're going to set this to take out the water. Perfection. And then we're going to go ahead with this, our, our universal cable for power. We're going to be running that through here. Okay, so then all we got to do is just run power to it. Perfect, so then those will start to work. Uh, we're actually just going to go ahead and wire the power up now so that these can get started. Uh, we're just going to do a very temporary wiring. I'm going to go through off camera and fix the power cable. Majority of the power cable through here will stay the exact same, so don't worry too much about that. And then we're also going to go ahead, take our ultimate transporter, right? Yeah. And then we're going to be pulling out of here. So all of the front cabling is good to go. Give ourselves some room here. Okay. Uh, who needs a bat wing? No, Batman needs a bat wing, probably. I don't know. I forget what I'm saying. So then we're going to go ahead and take the, the transportational cabler. We're going to move these over here. Now, we don't want them going in here just yet. So that's a no-go for you and a no-go. Oh, that's a go for you. No-go for you. Just kidding. That's a go. Just kidding. This is a go for you. Let me come over here, and then, yeah, one more cable. There are a lot of bins involved in the making of this. So then we're here with one bin, here with the other one. One of these is for the blue die. 
Whoops, not like that. And then one of these is for the red dice. We're gonna go ahead, toss this in here. Do one of these, do one of these, okay. And then, oop. Take one here. That is for that. Speed upgrades, because we want this to be relatively quick, and then a crafting upgrade. Right, so then, we're gonna go to the middle here. I've got a, a cable coming from our system, coming from to the middle here. All right, and then we're just gonna run this up and into our dudes. Perfect. So now we need to work on this part here. Yes. So we need we require two more bins to be crafted. All right, bins are crafted. So we're going to go ahead and place one here like so, and then one up here above it, middle click here. Bam. And so then this will be taking out and then we're gonna come over here, grab it. Oop, not all of them. Grab some seeds. Put this guy here, put that guy there. So now the beetroot is being automated. We're gonna grab one more of these guys. Put them here. Now we're gonna need our external storage. Yep, I got two more. Gonna run this cable down and like so. All right, so now the beetroot is going to be put into this one here. It's going to be taken out, crafted, and then shoved into here. Yep, check it out. We got two there. So we do need to go ahead and set these to be extracted out of. Um, I think the best way to do that, yeah, from here. Pull. Pull. There we go. And now we just need to set up the cactus. All right, sand in here, cacti in here, and boom. This thing is good to go, except for one part I just overlooked here. We need to get power back to this guy. So we're going to go ahead and run the power cable um, like so. Very temporary. I'll figure this out. It'll look identical on each one of them. But this thing is, uh, is set up now. As you can see, we just got some red dye in there. And then when this grows up, it's going to go ahead and smelt up the cactus for us. We can go ahead and speed this along a little bit. Wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and add maybe some exporters for the cactus itself, but we'll, well, maybe later. So these have already been upgraded all the way. These should be pumping into here, yes. And so, we need to disable this. We need to find light gray, or gray, like this. And then, we will enable it. So red dye goes in, and then this Yep, we're producing gray dye. So we got black, gray, and this is all automatic. We don't have to touch it. So now let's go ahead and pretty this thing up just a wee little bit. Do I have my stairs? I somehow lost my stairs. Oof. Okay, so we go one, two, like so. Place this here. Bam. So that's the front of it done. Man, I wish I wouldn't have got rid of my... Oh, I do have my stairs. Cool. So we go like this, then like this, then like this. And then we place the mana glass here to light everything up in there so no mobs will spawn. And booyah. Check that out, guys. That is good to go. And normally just back behind here where you can see through. I just beca you're, we're not going to be able to cover this up completely, but I do like doing this here so when you look down from the bottom you don't see the stone so you basically every everything you can see pretty much you just go ahead and fill it in so we can see this from the ground don't have to worry about that 
Um, probably don't have to worry about going back any further. But then like here, I'll only go like this. So then this side has been sealed off. Probably need to go like this as well. And then, oh, not like that. And then it's actually probably a better idea just to do this. All right, and then we come to the front, and as you can see, you can't really see any stone. I mean, you can if you go up here like this, but from down here, yeah, it all looks like there's it's all covered back there. So the cool thing is, is that lights it up, and then we take the inset lights here, put these down below, and then as you can see, these will reach more than halfway. So when we have this side set up as well, it will light up the entire walkway. There won't be any places for them to spawn unless it's behind. And then we can always just light it up with torches back here or something like that. But this is how you set up a uh, the die the the die setup guys and then we're just going to put the external storages down below uh because we do have a <gasps> oops we do have a cable right here so let's go ahead and place this put some gray dye in and then if we look here let's just oh gosh this is a nightmare okay so then we shift click boom our system now can see all the dye And boom, system can see all of the die now that we're making. Isn't that cool? And so then over here, we'll go ahead and work on setting up a crafting system because I do have quite a few material stonework factories here to go ahead and produce some sand and some, um, some gravel for us. So let's go ahead and work on that now. All right, guys. So unfortunately, there's no way for us to really like hit a button so we auto craft the... Uh, like a, a certain color of dye, but there is a way for us to go ahead and once we get the dye that we need and we get all the concrete in our inventory, we can just go ahead and put it in here and it will spit it out for us. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and work on that right now. Um, so let's see here. I wanna go ahead, we're gonna kinda chisel it out of this little area. We want it to look at really good. We want it to be very symmetrical. Uh, so the system is that uh, we use a injecting station here to go ahead and inject like steam or water vapor into the what the concrete powder which will make the concrete uh, so that is the goal that we are having with this one today i don't know why you would what is this used for oh that's how you automate osmium that's interesting anyway um so we want the import and output chest or areas to be extremely easy to access um so probably like here um and then uh, this is too flat. Okay. Um, so let's see. Maybe here and here. So you put the items in here, say the concrete, and then that'll spit it out there. So what we need to do is break this block. We also probably need to push this out a few more blocks here. All right, we're just gonna do that to give us some a little bit of breathing room. Uh, so let's see, we're gonna need to break this block too. So we have one, we have the import and the output. Or the input and the output. Um, Interesting, interesting. All right, so input, output, right there. So we'll set this one up to be the input, and then we'll set this one up to be the output. So input here, we're going to go ahead and see the uses for the white concrete. It needs to go into the chemical injection chamber right away. All right, so we'll put this guy here. Go ahead and do that. That spider is really annoying the heck out of me. What? You're on the side? I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. So it goes right into here. Water vapor. We can we can test this out by getting some some of the stuff. Uh, 
yeah, we can go ahead and make black concrete. We'll go ahead and make a stack of black concrete, because we can. Did we use some of it up from here? I believe we might have. All right, so black concrete, put it into here. That goes out, gets put into here. This needs to be like that. Okay, so how do we get the water vapor? We get that from the rotary condenser, which... So this actually needs to go... Got an idea. We can put this... Nope. We can put this here. That'll look cool. So it comes out of there, goes into the input, which is on the left, the output is on the right. Yes, this is both connected up, eject is on, and so then the rotary condenser will go right below it. This will eject gases from the top there, so then that mean that only means that we need the water here to go ahead and move the cable in between, pushing it into the front. Fluids. Like so. So this is going to stay full. This is going to use the water vapor to inject it. Yeah, because it's got a backlog of power. Uh, does this have, this does have the gas upgrade. Cool. And so all we need here is to just run power to these cables. Which should be very simple. Because I'm going to run them just below the other ones. But we need... Yes, we do have a power source up here. Cool. All right, I don't have a lot of energy cables on me. Just kidding. All right, so we're going to run this down and below. Llama, what are you doing here? Shoo. Zombie, shoo. Okay. So the energy cable will run down below here all the way to the end. And this is how we're going to get power to everything else. Boom. Okay. Oh, man. Whoops. Perfect. Whoops. All right. So this is all set up now very, very simply. All right. Put that there. All right, so this is how we're going to get power. I'm going to run it over to the each side, uh, but we're not completely done yet. We're going to go ahead and set up a uh, the stonework factories to go ahead and hold a bunch of our resources here. We're, we're no longer going to be pulling from the other base when it comes to the because we do have we do have sand and gravel automated, but we're going to do that over there in the concrete section. So we're going to need some bins. That's got sulfur in it. Uh, so we're going to grab uh, two of these bins here. What are these called? Installer. So we're going to grab two. Oh, we don't need any of these. We're going to grab two of these. 
two of these and two of these. And these will allow us to just simply upgrade these bins to the max tier. All right, so red, red, blue, blue, purple, purple. We want as much of this stuff as we can get. All right, and then we're just going to need some transport cable. And I'm pretty sure I just shift-clicked a whole bunch in. Perfect. We're going to have 16 for gravel and 16 for freaking sand. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, time to punch out a wall. So you won't be able to see any of this. This is where we're going to hold all of our sand and concrete. All right. And so these bins, I think should go like here and like here. It's going to look kind of strange if you ask me. But we're all going to know it's going to look freaking awesome. And so, oh shoot, not what I want to do. All right, cable here, cable here. All right, so here we go. <sighs> so each of these are going to need power. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to have f little columns here. So let's see. From the middle, one, two, three. From the middle, one, two, three. Perfect. All right, perfect. So now we just need, yep, all the transporters here. We just need them on two sides, like so. And then. All right, so this is how we're going to get the cables out. This is going to be nuts. This is the kind of stuff you guys want, right, where we just completely overdo it. Right? This is the stuff I like, honestly. All right. So there we go. Sand. One side for sand, one side for gravel. And then we got a whole bunch of these cables we got to run to. So power, 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 power. Power, 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 power. All right, there we go. So now each of these sides have power. Uh, I gotta set these to extract. Perfect. Okay. So all we need now is to get lava and water into these, but we actually need to go ahead. We need to set one of these up real quick. Well, yeah, one side up. Okay, let's go ahead and get the sand out of this one. Put the sand over here. Gravel should pop up in here. Yep. All right. So the fact that it's like that, I believe it's smart enough to just send the gravel once it gets there because there's nowhere for the cobblestone to go. All right, so that's where that one is. Cobblestone. Oh, we need to set these to crush. That's the only thing. I believe we are good to go. So yeah, let's go ahead, set this up for crushing. All right, so went ahead and added in the lava and water into each of these. So these are producing sand. All right, look at that. We're already producing a bunch of this stuff, which is awesome to see. Um, so the only thing I can see that I need to do still is just add in efficiency and speed upgrades into each of these. Uh, but we are producing lots and lots of gravel and sand here. Now I might actually go ahead and move these up one block. We'll go ahead and try that out. Um, so you are gravel. So we're gonna move the gravel up to here 
And then the sand, we're gonna move the sand up to here. Now you might be asking why, and that is because so we can hide a external storage up on top of it. Um, so yeah, so this will be here like so. We can put that there and that there. We do need to grab one more transportation pipe. It looks like I'm out. Gosh dang it, I hate those shulker boxes now. All right, so there we go. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put in the middle there. I think we should put something in there that's kind of cool. Um, we can stop with this. Yeah, I don't have anything here that's really cool, but these are going. Look at that. We have 336 black dye already. We have 202 gray dye here, and these are being, like, noticed by our system here, so very cool. I'll go ahead and add the other ones off camera because it does take a while. Uh, but yeah, guys, so we do have something that we can do here. I don't know what we're going to do. Let me know down in the comments what you think we should do there. But that's going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, guys. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out.